World League. And it's fair to say that Saturday is a match that we're all very much looking forward to, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. I think that it's a big week for the boys. Obviously, we've got a free week. We've had the FA Cups coming to town tomorrow and we're doing a little road show with it. So it's more added to it than just a normal National League game. And obviously, Blackpool are a, a massive club and they've got steeped in history. So, no, it, it is, it is a, a big occasion on Saturday and hopeful that we can be positive and give a good account of ourselves. Will we be looking to play on that underdog tag? 100% I think we have to in terms of they're two levels above, they're just sitting outside the playoffs. I know they're playing against Middlesbrough tonight in the EFL Cup, but yeah, they got promoted last year out of League Two and they're, they're, they're doing ever so well this year. For us it is about the underdog and I think we play that tag, tag ever so well and I think that FA Cup's about dreams. I know on, on Saturday, Sunday, the weekend, whatever you may say, there's going to be an upset. Why not us? It's, it's, we, we know Blackpool's quality, that's, that's a given, but how can our game plan hurt them? Um, yeah, we'll be setting up in terms of our shape, in terms of how we go about our business, how we feel that we can exploit them. Um, and that's, that's massive in what we're going to do tomorrow in the session and again on Friday. Um, the boys have been given a directive of how we're going to go about our business and I think if we implement it, I think we can cause them problems. You look at, we create, we create and I think that even with a person at two leagues above, I still believe that we can create. As long as we're organised, well drilled against their threats, because they have got threats, that we, we can give ourselves an opportunity to progress come Saturday. I know that he's been struggling with injury, but tomorrow could see, Saturday could see the return of Kyle Vassell, couldn't it? Yeah, I believe he's out at the minute. I know that he's joined Kyle and is it on, in, the, in the physio room. So it's going to be very interesting to see what personnel they have available. We've got, I've watched four games of theirs, five games of theirs. I've got reports going back as far as Berry and Walsall. So we've done our homework. Um, we know what they have to offer. They've got strength in numbers in terms of their personnel they have to their disposal. But I've got a full squad to pick from. Um, every single one of them is fighting for a starting place. And two right and all, because obviously I've changed it around in the last three games against Chester, then going to guys in and playing um, Bromley here on Saturday. So there's been personnel changes all over the park. For me, the boys need to make sure there's a focus, there's a drive, and hopefully if they get given their shirt, they can earn that, and hopefully it will be a reward on my part if we progress. We've yet to beat a football, football league side in our history. How can we go about changing this? Um, doing what we've been doing, I think our performances have been good of late, I think you know, as long as we get the fans here, as long as we get the support of the locals, if we can go and replicate what we did at St Albans in terms of getting people behind the goal, because I think the boys buzz off it, I think they do, I think they, they love, a, love a fan base and I think that they react positive to it. So for me, the tag is there in terms of we've yet to beat a football league side, we went close last year with a 2-0 lead up until the 73rd minute and unfortunate not to, not to see out the game, but there's a focus, there's a hunger. At no stage have I said to my boys that we feel that we're gonna be second in terms of playing a bit part in the game on Saturday. We honestly believe that we have a chance of progressing um, and we feel that if we get it right on the day, if we all pull in in the same direction, I honestly feel that we can cause an upset. You mentioned it just then, but just how important will supporters be? Huge. I think that you look at what they did at St Albans. Well, I'll go back as far as two years ago, three years ago, when we were at Aldershot, the 40 or 50 that went to Aldershot that sang their hearts out, the ones that went down to Welling on the last game of the season. There was, there was a massive, massive resurgence in terms of three, 400 people that come that day. and it, We needed it. We needed it. You look at St Albans recently and the people behind the goal, for me, they got us the pen because they went up and they were loud in their appeals. And I think that... Bruno's finish sort of epitomised the day because he ran into the fans and it was saying that I feel that rewarded their support. Um, if we can get as many as we can on the day, bring your friends and families. I know I said this before when prior to going to St Albans, but I honestly believe, I don't know how many Blackpool are going to bring, if any. If we can really outnumber anything they have and we can really support from start to finish, trust me when I say this, the boys will buzz off it and they will be a massive part to play in us progressing.